Really? Oh, a little enclosed garden here. I know, I saw this. You can go inside. Really? Oh! Swallows! I wonder what is inside it. I think probably we are the only one who actually have filmed this. <laughs> Beautiful, such a string. I think everybody should have such a string. I will build some. Oh, somebody has put a coin here. I like the style of it. Actually, I love it. Can I ask why you like this also? Therapeutic, yeah. Yeah, it goes on from there. Oh, you well spotted. Sir. Yeah, it goes there and comes out. And such a little corner with such a trickle of water. tree with these seeds and I've just pressed one just to show you they're soft they give a red deep red color what is it the leaves are like kind of fig like and the height and the spread of it is also like a fig anybody knows what's the name of this plant Hmm, lily pound. Pound of lily. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, really? Hot here. Yeah, it looks like an orangery. Orangery, as they say. No, oh, what's the name of this plant? It's beautiful. Yeah, it looks like passion fruit. What is it? Oh. Now I'm shooting at the 720. And uh, the image is stabilizer and the Huawei P10 Plus is on. Oh, look at that! That's a beauty. Oh God, look at it. Is it? Is it knuckles? What do you want to call this knuckle? Acorns. Acorns. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Let's rock. Oh, hazel. That's what we have, hazel. I have to copy it last uh, next year. It's grown big and I can get some wood for the using the beans for big fan. Oh look how nice they have put a barrier here, nobody can come and cross. Yeah, that's a two the way. <laughs> In the January, February and March, when you have rhubarb and they have not yet grown big or practically there are little bumps in the ground, you should put this over them. Uh, they will be excluded from light. They can grow actually. They will be warmer a little bit in that environment. And they will give you beautiful shoots and long stems so you can harvest them early. But later you have to let them grow. So I have one of these. I have to use it next year. Oh, sage. I can say this is lavender probably. Oh yeah, that's lavender. Ah, strawberries. Oh, you can harvest it. They're all ready there, but nobody is there to harvest it. I'm sure they do. 
and beautiful uh, glob artichoke. Ours is in flower. Is it glob artichoke? Oh, they have black fly. It's a black fly. Yeah, yeah. glob artichoke takes, is really prone to the black fly. Yeah, this one has black fly. But they'll be behind. Oh, look at the size of this strawberry. This is jumbo. I have that. And look at the garlics. Is it elephant garlic? Yeah, yeah garlic. Valedo. Oh. This one's elephant. Valelo, valeldo, valelado white. Okay, valelado white. Yeah. And this one, valelado white, huh? This is the elephant garlic. Oh, elephant garlic. Yeah. yeah. They call it in Persia musir. Right. Mm -hmm. Another one. Yeah. Hmm, sage. Hmm. Oh, it's Mind nice. Me. That's yeah. rosemary. Yeah. Rosemary is this. That's, no, this is rosemary. Smell it. That's rosemary. That's sage. This is sage. That's not sage. Is it? Okay, yeah. Well, I, I forgot that name of it. Oh, anyway. Lix. Salad onion. Oh. And beetroot. And parsnip. Look. Parsnip always grows patchy like that. <laughs> Without looking at it, I can say parsnip. But you can see the label here. You need really fresh seed for that. <laughs> And mint. Oh. Lemon balm. Oh, lemon balm. No, that's not lemon balm. No. That's a kind of, I don't remember the name of it, but. Wow, I'm not sure. But carrots, look. That's a mint. Yeah. I'm not sure what that is. No, I don't know what's that. That's carrots. Carrots also has grown patchy. Oh, look at their lovely radishes. The carrots are growing is called resitarfi or resitafi, resitafli, resistafli. Mm. And sweet, uh, sweet peas. Now those are not beetroot. Those are chart, Swiss chart. Oh, it's lovely. I like this sweet food. These are so aromatic. Oh, look at the potato, how strong they are growing. They look like this kind of uh, main crop potatoes. Probably the zero. Let me see what is it. Oh, that one is written Charlotte. I can read it. That's Charlotte. So. Strange cacti. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Painful. We have this. <laughs> They're really tough. Oh, orange. You were right. Ah, the smell of orange blossom. Oh, it's the best the smell. Best fragrance. Mm -hmm. Oh, secret, a secret, secret garden. I hope it's a kitchen garden. Oh, it's a kitchen garden. That's the kitchen garden. Can I hold this, darling? The map. This part of it, of course, is the flowers. But I can see here the pots for forcing the rhubarbs. <laughs> Let's make a video about this. Rosemary. Mm. Also, this flower you can eat. And this is a pear. No fruit on it. Oh, there is a one fruit. A few here. These are chive. Chive. Oh, this pear has a lot. What's the name of it? Nobody knows. Yeah, this is apple. 
not many apples, just a few clusters here. Oh, look at this pear. That's nice. The name of it is written actually. Pear Burr Hardy. Okay, that's a Burr Hardy pear. Oh, and these are soft fruits, as you see. Goes forever. And there's some kale and some cabbages and other things, brassicas. Beside these apples. This is a this is not apple, this is a um, pear. But not many fruits. A few here and there if they keep. This is a apple. No name of course. Uh, not many apples actually, so Maybe they're biennial. A few pears in this. Again, beautiful child. Look at that. How the Charlotte potato looks at this time in June. That's the Charlotte potato. And they have not been earthed. So you can see they have a stem straight up coming up. They have small leaves. Then main leaves. And and uh, pear and apple. These p apples are not really good. Look at it, this is full of aphid. The ants are bringing them. Full of aphid. But no name, again, no fruit. I suppose they just recently started to train them. Oh, look at the broad beans. I can't really hook up the yeah, and they're ready, those lower ones are ready to harvest. I can see. Oh, I think this is that uh, oh, Aqua Dolce Claudia, that's the winter one they planted oh. in winter. Yeah, and this nice. one is the Aqua Dolce Claudia, Aqua Dolce Claudia. Like. Yeah, yeah, they grow easily in the I winter. How about they're hardy, you know, relatively. And this is the rhubarb chart. Oh, look at this. Globe artichoke. We have globe artichoke, by the way. We have to harvest it. Just remind me when we have to. But look at this asparagus. These are really behind the hours. Ours are really big now. We have let them to go fern. But there are different varieties. You can see that this is pinkish. And those ones are different. The flowers of chive look at this time of the year in June. That's a chive flower. And you can cut the stem and eat if you want. It's a beautiful wigwam, Susan. Isn't it lovely? Tudor sod and it's grown as this uh, support for the sweet peas. Mm. I like that. They have really made it look like a what is that? Gherkin in London. <laughs> That's a gherkin. <laughs> How the asparagus looks in early June. These are different asparagus here, you can see. The spears are coming out of the ground. They're kind of pinkish purple color and those ones are with the head and some of them actually has turned to fern so this one you can harvest them because they're probably late varieties yeah between them yeah that's a very good idea I like that And you can see the, again, sweet peas there. Oh, look at this amazing setting of the beautiful set of the beans. I have to grow some beans again. I think I will try this style, probably. That's really encouraging. 
The actual beans are growing on the on the twines. You could have the um, you could train the pumpkins to come. Yeah. Out the I think we have two wigwams. <clears throat> we can join them by the line of this. Okay. Uh, think about this bean stands. Bean support. It's a brilliant idea, huh? Just put uh, several of these supports and then a net between them and plant the beans under them. A sort of piece, yeah. And you will have a good supply of peas. I prefer peas to the beans, in a way. And what's the name? Sugar, sugar pot. Oregon sugar pot. That's the tall bean, yeah. tall piece, so that it will grow really high. And I see these beds are no dig method. Yeah, yeah right. this is a no dig method in the heat cut. Mm. Oh, those are the plants we have. Alcione. Mm. What you saw? Oh, such a simple way to grow tall pills. Yeah, we can. We have this netting. Let us do this. Oh, let's do that. I like that. I have the time to sow more because uh, we need succession. So, and also this lovely. I think there's a daffodil. Oh, look at this globe artichokes. Yeah, is it globe artichokes? They're huge. Some of these leaves actually can be not chopped and eaten. Yeah. But I'm fascinated by this bean. Susan, do you like horseradish? Yes, horseradish. But it's a plant that makes you cry. You know how it does? When you try to cut its root and skin it and use it, process it, or chop it, it releases a gas that is really more stronger than any onion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I tried it. It really burns. <laughs> Even your hands get contaminated with it. But <laughs> you touch everything, it burns. <laughs> oh, chart! I planted lots of chart for winter. Perpetual spinach. Okay, that's kind of chart. It's a beautiful garden. Oh, look at that. There, I should do this. I have a lot of flowers like this. We can get the seeds. Oh, oh. This is another part of this, which we can see the, some of these plants, which are in the family of garlic, Alicium. And some of these flowers that we already have, they're beautiful. And some new, uh, probably from seed, these are the rhubarbs. And these are the plants which are going to seed now, so. And lovely, beautiful sunflower, a row of sunflower. Yeah, and I see a gladiolus and asparagus. They're really gone tall, these are really early. Mm. Man, a beautiful sweet piece. It looks like something. I don't know. Mm. Oh, they have a nice smell. Yeah, there must flowers. be flower. Oh, yeah. here it's written. Oh my goodness, I just like Knotria no. rostel mixed pasta. pasta. Postal mix. Oh, postal mix. I think it's <laughs> yeah, mix. I think Trying it's to read nice reverse. Uh, nice mix. And more of this lovely flowery thing. This probably give flower. Mm -hmm. And this kind of weedy stuff which they give a beautiful things probably in the autumn. And lots of gladiola. Mm -hmm. And these kind of flowers that we have also. Mm -hmm. They're tiny. Ours. And we come here to horseradish, a patch of horseradish there, a plant which makes you cry. <laughs> oh. uh, Bluebirds don't give such things. I think it's a foxglove or something like oh, that. Maybe it's 
Blue bells uh, have bulb. Okay, when you have some flowers and or plants or vegetables that they go to seed, what you have to do, Susan? I just hang them upside down, basically. In a dry place that you oh, know yeah, thing. Oh yeah, in a cool dry place. Yeah. I think polytunnel can be a good place, or if you have a big shed, Maybe you yeah. can do that. Yeah, oh, look at all of this. Poppy seeds. Poppy seeds. Poppy seeds. Oh, I have a lot of this. I will do that. Thanks, ideas. Thank you, Heathcote Garden. You reminded me. Welcome to the kitchen garden. The food, vegetables, and flowers are grow, we grow are used in our restaurant or sold here. We do not use chemicals in the kitchen garden. We have ten lovely volunteers who came, who come each week to help plant, weed, harvest, dig, and pick bunches of flowers. Oh, that's a little bit for donation. This is beautiful, Susan. You should do this. Oh, yeah. Kitchen Garden Variety 2018. That's the varieties of plants they have here. I think for the sake of record, I take photographs of this or for the video. So anybody who wants to grow things, you can just follow this. And uh, I try to go slowly. That's beetroot, by the way. Okay, we are now going through the rest of the kitchen garden at the Heathcote Garden, which is a National Trust uh, property. And I don't see much apples in these uh, apple trees. Okay, this is a work in progress. Oh, this one has a lot of pears, this little tree. <laughs> They're trying to grow them in the, you know, in the fan-shaped train them in the spaliers. Quite a strong wires they're using. Look at that. That will last. And they don't need tensioning because they're already tensioned. But just slightly tensioned probably from here. Not much. Oh here. Look at the cold frames they have. Volunteers have done well in here. I mean, for a volunteer, you, you may say that not many people feel responsible when you are a volunteer because you depend on many other people. If they don't do their job, you will not be. Must be good coordination between them. And as you can see, they just left their fork in the ground or spade just before leaving. Yeah, for, for beauty. Looks too short and too old to be of any use. And a tennis court. For anyone who wants to spend their time playing ball games in allotment. Flower varieties 2018 that are grown in the Heathcote Garden. So I try to go through them slowly so you can see. You can stop any moment that you want the video and just write the name of the flowers. Let's 
group. Long borders, 26, lot 26. And this is the landscaped part of the Bitcoin border. Eh? Gives you ideas if you have the land, just you can landscape your plants. It's kind of columnar things. I saw that how they do it. You have to plant three, at least three of these kind of plants close together, and then when they're grown up, you can actually shape them by cutting. Yeah, Alysium. Mm. Oh, a bee. Enjoying a meal of nectar, or multiple meals of nectars. Fox gloves. And beautiful puppies. <laughs> They're so huge. <laughs> These puppies are amazing. Do they smell? No, oh, smells a little like a watermelon, very faintly. And if you wanted to see a profile of a puppy or a flower, here you are. Before the puppies open, they look like that. Oh, this is like our flower. I bet this is smells. Oh yeah, that is ours. Oh, that's a beautiful rose. If you find the name of it, we will find the name of ours also. <laughs> What's the name? Is there a name? Somewhere? <laughs> no. The flowers are beautiful. And these roses are just waiting to be opened by the urge to reproduce. And it seems image of stabilization in 720 when the mobile is working. Beautiful iris. The only problem is that they never smell. Oh, actually, it smells. Oh, hmm, smells. Look at that iris. They are huge. <laughs> oh, it smells like banana and uh, orange. Okay, this is the greenhouse in the Heathcote Garden and don't access, private, we don't enter it, but look at the plants, you can film them. And you see there is a blower here, which uh, hot wax, it blows hot air. And these plants probably need a lot of heat. Many of them are from desert areas. A big plant there, looks a little like banana, but it's a different color. So, big operation. No iris. And they smell the same. Lovely. What's the name of them? I don't know really. They are iris, but what kind of iris? Let's call it chocolate onion. <laughs> Red onion. <laughs> this is iris in the Heathcote Garden. It's beautiful. And let us see how it smells. Oh, fresh. It smells like uh, orange and banana. Oh, a little bit mango.
mango even. See what is this? Look like jasmine. Oh, doesn't smell much, but kind of appley smell. I wonder what's the name of this plant. Yeah, is it honeysuckle you think? Anyway, definitely this bee is interested. He's an expert in honey. Oh, <laughs> secret spot <laughs> for lovers. <laughs> ah, oh, it smells so citrusy. Faint, of course. And what's the seat? Oh, in memory. What's the memory? Let us name the memory. Memory of Florence Maud Redding. The Elms, Tiddington, Stafford and Avon. Okay. One of the countrymen of the Shakespeare. Let me see it. Yeah, this beautiful nice tree. Yeah. A little bit of wild meadow. Sometimes not having anything. Is better than having everything. In this case, in this field. So many bells. Do you feel safe here? Okay. Oh, look at that seat. We want to explore. Oh, what is this? Yeah, let's go and see it. That's nice under that beautiful tree or bush. Looks very prehistoric here. <laughs> How it feels under the tree? <laughs> the flower woman. A fairy of flowers, flower fairy. Oh, I saw blackbird creeping through here. Oh, you have the bag? Thank you. Blackbirds are moving here. The first time I see the blackbird actually here in action. That's a rare thing to see. They're usually very frightened by people. This one is tamed almost. 
These people are not bothering him. Yeah. What do you mean it's afternoon sex? <laughs> Okay, in uh, many parts of the Britain you see thatched houses. Thatched houses are like this, made of... Huh, what they're made of? A straw? Or? Yeah. And uh, people live there and visit a hotel. We practically can call it bug hotel because <laughs> those, those thatched are full of bugs. <laughs> bugs. <laughs> That's very a human, but very expensive luxury to, you know, uh, rep replicate something from the Tudor area in the 21st century. <laughs> Every 25 years we have to replace it. Yeah. Quite expensive way of uh, living in a bug hotel. <laughs> They're pretty well. Is that what you have found here? Mm. Oh. You found a secret, but you already discovered by pe other people. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. What's a beautiful flower? Look at it. Mm. Oh, this rose is so subtle. Oh, that cottage. I suppose that's the menu <laughs> manor house. <laughs> menu house. <laughs> menu house. <laughs> manor house. <laughs> Sorry, the French words look very posh. <laughs> oh, what a nice pergola. Yeah. The beautiful rose. I feel something I'm missing. It's because your bag <laughs> was on my shoulder. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Welcome to the Bark Hotel. <laughs> Bark Hotel. <laughs> Tudor Thatched House. Another name for it is Bark Hotel. <laughs> Expensive Bark Hotel. <laughs> I like to make a video about it. What is it? It's a mystery. That's a little secret here. Secret passageway. <laughs> That's interesting. It's full of nooks and crannies in this place. <laughs> I love that. Oh, look at that. Little shade. We should bring some uh, water or something to drink here. <laughs> it's like a normal house, normal garden of a, any house in England. <laughs>
Celtic. For sun and moon is a symbol of Jesus and God. Yeah, that's what really is. It's, it's a possibility that this was a chapel here. What do you think? I think it was a chapel. That was a nose in it. Mm -hmm. They look like each other. It's interbreeded. Mm -hmm. The eyes and everything look like each other. Mr. Walton, or Moyer, or he was very active in this region. Dum 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 dum. Oh, that's the house. That's the house. Yeah. This is the chapel. That's the house. Yeah, that's the chapel we went there. Is this the house? I think, I think that's the house here. Yeah. Is it? Hmm. That's the restaurant? That's the house. Oh, they told... Okay. We just probably that's there. Oh, that goes outside. Let us sit beside the pond on a spring and reach our moments. This trickle reminds everyone that you have to go to the toilet. <laughs> and clean your hands. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. God. 
This is beautiful. Oh, so amazing. The view. <laughs> it's a miniature landscape of everything. You have you can have a view of the top of the hill. <laughs> kind of. This is one of the most beautiful gardens we have ever seen, so I think. That's the tree from Italy. I think they have tried to copy the thing. This is a tree the Perini, the elder, told that it looks like the mushroom cloud in the Vesuvius. Oh, you open another space here. Full of little spaces everywhere. Oh, oh, a little stream. That's the stream we saw coming from the pond. And it's flowing that way. Oh, this beautiful. That's a private stream. And that's the source of it coming there. And I can hear the pump. I've been pumping it from the pond uh, to here. What I've not seen here is any infestation of the bindweed. That's the way we went. That's part of the park called Wilderness. So we are like this now. And in nice places, which is not very obvious, they have put some seats, benches. There is one seat there, one seat there. The time. 22 minutes to 6. This garden is never stopping to amaze us. <laughs> Every corner of it has something different. Of course, everything is green almost, but uh, you know what I mean. And I think that's the long walk. Yeah, oh, look at that. Chinese house. Oh, here. That's a long walk. Let's go. <laughs> long walk. <laughs> Can you fold this for me, please? Oh, a stream here. The stream flows. Oh, that's beautiful. Then among the, all this chaos, you see this big piece of order. You have to bear with us to <laughs> we walk all through this. If you don't like to watch this, just uh, that must be that old. go you forward. That I see the gate. Thing. You know that mural uh -huh. that was painted? Yeah. In that little... Oh, oh, they were playing here. Yeah, this must be those ladies. Look at a big chubby yeah. wood pigeon. Oh. It almost looks like a pheasant. What is there? What is here? <laughs> These are the luckiest wood pigeons in the England.
So it shows if you have a land which is a little bit, uh, some parts of it are a little bit rough and up and down it has a lot. So how you can actually manage it and then combine it with this kind of a stretch of flatter part of the land. To entertain your guests, I suppose. As I mentioned, this uh, place looks like a place for the playboys. Every corner of it is for one lover couple to come in the weekend. Who knows how many... I, I mentioned that all the people in that little history bit of it, they look like each other. They may have been interbreeding. Oh, look at the view! <laughs> that is a kingly view. You look at the realm. <laughs> look at your kingdom. <laughs> that is my kingdom. <laughs> That's worth the walk, huh? All the cots fold. It's under your feet. Let's go through it for you. You know, puppy, we have the red version of it in our garden. They come and go very quick, and the petals fall in no time. But they are beautiful. That is in the continuation of the wilderness. Oh, you can return back to the main course. Oh here, yeah. you are returning back to the main garden and the lovely juicy wood pigeons. Yeah, I can smell herbs, yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's another. That is the back of the, another garden, private. That's the neighbor's house probably where the van was. Oh, here. That's a gate. It is not locked. Oh, probably it's locked. I cannot see it. But. Yeah, you can go back up the hill. Yeah, okay. This way. Yeah. Oh, that's a bridge. That was the one that we passed over it to go to the long walk. And if you walk that way, you return to the other side. It is a beautiful garden, full of amazing places. I wonder if you go that way where you reach. <laughs> You cannot do it in 20 minutes. <laughs> it's better you go and uh, bring you some picnic also. It's full of spaces you can have your meal. We did. Then it's difficult, of course, with a heavy stomach to move around. <laughs> then you get again, get hungry. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. Heavy. Oh, look! Beautiful! <laughs> and this is that flat area where the grapes was. And look! There is a view there. 
Uff. <laughs> Look like uh, your cat is or Canterbury. <laughs> Nice to get lost sometimes. <laughs> you find things that you never saw. Oh yeah, beautiful place for photography. Can't this peak? Probably smell this. Oh, it smells actually. Oh, mm. sorry, big plant. It smells a bit like citrus. Oh, never stops. Amazing. It's full of beauties. Hmm. Okay, this one. Oh, different. Completely different smell. Hmm. Oh, here. We have never been here. This is a rock garden now. <laughs> it's a dinosaur footprint. Look, one finger, second finger, third finger. <laughs> Dinosaur footprint in the hip cut garden. I'm joking, it's not. <laughs> oh, look at the garden, it goes for miles over. That's a big estate. All those acres they mentioned are here. That's practical, it was wasted because they didn't do anything with it. <laughs> they didn't grow any, anything with it. This way to the kitchen garden. Okay, let me just see what is here. Oh, that's that maze. Uh, the thing, flat area, that's the uh, plant shop. Oh, yeah, the construction. <laughs> you wanted to go the opposite way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, let's forget about the map and just enjoy this wilderness. Look at the grapes, bunch of them, carved into stone. Grapes. And this is wilderness. Oh, you can hide here. Yeah, there is an entry and an exit. Never stops. What you see here is squirrels and the crows fighting over a piece of right. tissue or bread. Right. The squirrel won. The squirrel won. And now we win. <laughs> you can go and pick the bread. Or is it tissue? No.